Hi, I'm Adrian McLean from the Speakers Practice and I'm going to be on the online prosperity show. Uh, we're going to be talking about business development, uh, marketing, personal selling. I'm your host, Prosper Tatarum, and today we have a special guest who has conquered the fear of public speaking and turned it into a passion. I want you to get ready to be inspired as we welcome Adrian McLean. Yeah, I'm great. Very excited to be here. Fantastic. Can you share with us your journey and on how you actually went from fearing public speaking to now becoming a renowned speaker? Oh, well, yes. Uh, look, uh, when I was studying, uh, I did a thesis uh, in organic chemistry, of all things, and I had to present to the the chemistry school. And uh, it, I was so nervous. I just, uh, every every part of me shook and I felt terrible and I, I, I don't know how I got through it. Uh, Fortunately, the content was okay, so I, I managed to pass all right. But uh, but I just remember all those faces of the professors and the PhD graduates and the and the students and my peers of all things. And and it, it was just uh, it was just such a nervous. Uh, I was just just racked with nervousness and. And so I never uh, liked to get up and speak in public. Uh, you know, as I went through my corporate career, I had to speak at meetings and what have you. And I did what I had to do, but I was never really comfortable with doing it. And then uh, so I put off public speaking when I didn't speak at my wedding I didn't speak at at some of the occasions uh, like my mother's funeral I, I just couldn't uh, couldn't get myself around to speak at any occasion really and uh, and then my my third child arrived <laughs> And uh, moving forward a, a, a few years, and I decided uh, as something that I'd do that I'd work on my public speaking skills. So I was uh, I was managing a household, and 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 that was my activity uh, for for a while. And I got this amazing boost of confidence uh, by by having to get up and speak in front of people. And, you know, it didn't matter if it was only a minute or two minutes or five minutes, but the actual practice and regular practice of, of getting up and speaking uh, in front of people really helped. This is, uh, I attended a, a Toastmasters uh, club and, uh, and really, you know, it was just every fortnight we, we attended the, the meeting. And, you know, over time, uh, I really started to get this boost of confidence and and it was like people uh, describe finding your voice and and that's what in essence I found and it it's not only the communication skills that develop but it was actually my leadership skills that I that I knew I had I was a, a executive in the management team. Uh, for a large multinational uh, chemical company, so I, I knew I had the skills, and I sort of knew them that I had them. But, but by by going through this process, the the leadership skills really developed, and so uh, communication and leadership uh, was really uh, uh, was the area that I was working on. And, you know, after doing this for seven years, you know, the boost of confidence was absolutely extraordinary. And then uh, what happened was that uh, the if you have an entrepreneurial gene within you and uh, are you, uh, you might have tried to suppress it uh, if you had a, a small business background, uh, you might have wanted to to more focus in the corporate area. But anyway, uh, uh, I decided that I wanted to 
to help others uh, with this boost of confidence. And, and because I grew up in a family business, I really navigated to helping small businesses. So uh, in 2009, the speaker's practice was established. And uh, initially, it started with helping small business owners with uh, presentation skills and, and getting their message out for sales presentations. And then I realized that really uh, the focus that they have is, uh, is, is a broader focus about getting more clients. And then I studied with Michael Port, who wrote the most amazing book, Book Yourself Solid. And this is a business building system designed for service professionals, even if you don't like marketing and sales. And uh, and I studied with Michael Port. I was mentored by Michael. Uh, he's uh, a US-based uh, entrepreneur. He's based over in Philadelphia area. And uh, this process, people can buy Book Yourself Solid on Amazon, and it is the most wonderful book describing the, the journey of going from a lead right through to making the sale. And uh, in 2018, I uh, attended a conference uh, and it was for small businesses and entrepreneurs. And the thing that they described, the, the, the three big areas that they described that really are crucial to small business, are marketing, personal selling and asking for the sale. And uh, and in essence, that's what the speaker's practice was and does help with right up until today. Fantastic. And thank you so much for taking us on that journey from the periodic table itself to actually, um, you know, the time when you had your third child and that really sparked the inspiration for you to get talking. Now, I mean, I'm going to two kids myself and I would imagine you know having to yell at them to stop running and stop jumping on things could actually help somebody to recognize wait a minute I do have a voice what is it about having the kids that really made you realize that leadership is where it was at and you then followed up with um you know wanting to learn more about speaking oh well I mean, uh, when you're having your family, it's a it's a very busy time, and I was juggling uh, working part time with the family, and I just wanted a bit of of time for me to use my brain and and develop some skills, and uh, and yeah, I'd heard about Toastmasters, and because I was such a nervous public speaker, I thought, well. That sounds like it's something that I can work on uh, whilst whilst juggling all these other things. Absolutely. And obviously, you really have come full circle and you're now also teaching other people to be, do and have a happy existence, especially using their voice. But I noticed while you were, you were talking, you know, you did mention um, a lot to do with lead generation and how to then convert those leads into sort of sales. Now, as business owners, we all struggle with marketing. I mean, I'm a marketer myself, and sometimes I wake up and I'm like, eh, what's supposed to happen here? Now, lead generation and converting leads into sales is the holy grail and um, how you are uh, supposed to be sort of like uh, creating for and relating to your audience so you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, how do you then overcome maybe these challenges, um, you know, especially when it comes to, um, you know, what you teach people? Right. Well, with lead generation, you know, you've just got to keep connecting with people and getting people into your network and, and working on developing our network as a business owner is one of the top three primary things we really need to be doing. Uh, we do this uh, in all sorts of ways. So this morning I run uh, on the fourth Thursday of the month uh, every month I run a networking group. Uh, it's the professional services coffee session. 
and I promote this and I get people to come and join. I meet new people. Today I had two people that uh, I'd not met before actually I had three people that I hadn't met before and another three that I that I had so uh you know I start uh, uh it's just about systematically reaching out and getting more people into your network it may not be sound a lot but it, but getting to know three people can be really really helpful because those three people they also know three people that may be able that I might be able to help so it's about building a relationship with these people and getting to know them getting to know what their concerns are and their problems and their needs and seeing how you can help them and uh, and it's about building that relationship and that's really important uh, re really important for growing your business Fantastic. And like you mentioned, you know, people do business with those they know, like, and trust. Now, you actually alluded to something that's very uh, important that you say, you know, when every certain time periodically you have these networking events where you bring people in and you start leveraging the network effect of, um, you know, people that know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody um and this obviously is not just a one and done process so my question is you know business development is a multi-step process now can you maybe give us some tips on effectively guiding um you know your prospects or actually doing uh that for themselves in order for them to actually make sure that it's something that's consistent within their business yeah well oh absolutely so the premise of the Book Yourself Solid system is that uh, marketing doesn't get you clients. And uh, both you and me, Prospero, would go, what, you mean, Adrian, are you saying that? Oh, my God, this is terrible. So marketing raises awareness of your business. And it's what happens next that books the business. So people find out about what you do and how you help your clients through your marketing. And then the leads or the prospects, they go and check you out and they see if, if what your marketing message says uh, can help them. And they have a look at your website. They may have a look at a flyer that you've given them. You, they may see your social media on, on various platforms and they think, oh, yes, uh, they can help me. I think that I think that they can. So then they give you an opportunity to earn their trust and they give you an email or a phone call and they get in contact with you. And then and what they've in essence done is they've had a look at your found, the foundation of your business and they, they see that you understand them. They see that you understand their problems they see that you've got solutions to their problems. They see that you have the number one big result that they're really looking for. And they see value in, in your approach. And so, and so they give you this email and then it's our job as business owners to keep in contact with them. And, uh, and we keep in contact with them uh, through our marketing, and uh, and we move into module two, which is building trust and credibility. And the the big issue with uh, prospects and lead generation is that uh, the the prospect or the buyer doesn't buy when we want them as business owners to buy. <laughs> it's a it's a bit of a you know when you're running a workshop you know it's a bit of a a thing <laughs> and so or whatever you're whatever you're offering and but it doesn't mean that they don't want your service it just means that the time isn't isn't right for them and so it's the job of the business owner to keep in touch with these prospects with these leads keep doing your marketing keep keep meeting them at networking events keep Keep uh, doing your social media, 
uh, keep writing your blogs, keep updating them with your newsletters. And then at some stage or other, when the time is right for, for the prospect, when they've got this huge emotional need to get whatever the problem is solved, they'll either get in contact with you or you will be in contact with them. And when when that point is, when if you've got your pricing right and you can have a simple sales conversation, then you'll book the business. And the system happens again and again and again. And so uh, and so that's how that's how to how to that's the business development journey from prospect and and doing your marketing right through to the sale. And the it demonstrates the the real crossover between marketing and sales which uh, which is often they they can seem to work separately but they're actually really integrally joined absolutely and i really appreciate you really going deep um with that um answer i actually felt like we were attending class because class was in session there for those that are watching right now take note you know, Adrian, you, you are touching on a very, you know, a sensitive subject for a lot of people because obviously the more people you can convert into customers that pay, stay and refer, the more, um, you know, business and revenue you can grow for yourself and eventually um, have the lifestyle that you are looking for. But you keep reiterating and look, talking about uh, what's called personal selling. First of all, can you tell us what that is? and um, why it's crucial for building trust with your potential clients. And also, while you're there, can you just explain how to actually confidently deliver relevant messages um, you know, to the customers as you are personally selling yourself? Right. Yeah, it, it, it's a really interesting concept, Prospera, because uh, we hear about marketing and we hear about sales, but, but it, we... Uh, we don't really hear about the part that's actually the people behind the the activity. And so actually, when we're going through the marketing and sales process, we actually have to put ourselves as business owners into the firing line or into the front line and get out there and promote. And uh, And basically, that's what personal selling is in uh in the book yourself solid system there is a part in uh personal branding that that discusses being bold and uh it's really really important for business owners uh service professionals to go out and be bold and sell themselves because they're the the face of the business now you know, my public speaking experience uh, uh, was was uh, a, an example where I wasn't being bold and I didn't want to put myself into the firing line. And I had to, I went through this personal development journey to to get out and and talk in front of people. And and that's uh, that's what why I find uh, the personal selling aspect uh, so interesting. I wish that there was a, a, a crossover between between business development and uh, and presentation skills or public speaking because the two skill sets of uh, of uh, taking going through the process from lead to sale and presentation skills or public speaking skills there's a real crossover and it's that crossover between public speaking skills and sales and marketing and business development that is that is personal selling and uh, we really need to to put ourselves on the front line and go and speak but to as many people as we can and and try and help them because our business is is helping people 
in 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 the area that they're needing uh, assistance. So, so that's basically what present <laughs> what personal selling is about, uh, and it's really important for both marketing and for uh, for having sales conversations. Uh, if you if you think of, of um, if you think of a uh, archetypical uh, salesperson, they're really out there and and they can they can talk and talk and talk and talk and they're your best friend and and that's they're building a relationship with you and that's their that's their job as a salesperson uh, and then uh, if once they once they have spoken to you and they've got your trust, uh, then they're able to to sell what they're selling. Fantastic. And um, absolutely, I like the, the choice of words there. You have to be bold and you've got to put yourself on the firing line because if you are not going to be seen, um, how are people going to buy from you? If people don't know what you exist, how are they going to actually engage with your business or whatever it is that you're putting uh, to the table there. And I also like how you've got the book yourself solid methodology down packed because I think it's uh, Michael who wrote the book, right? He describes himself as the guy you call when you're tired of thinking small. And I really, really love that um, you know, positioning because sometimes we might think we're doing the best for our business, but we haven't really explored um, what is actually possible and we haven't reached all the people that we uh, possibly can and with the advent of the internet i mean like right now you obviously are where you are in melbourne right now and there's nothing that can stop you reaching out to people and connecting um you know with your audience right where they are now i've got a question here Adrian, and 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 it's been burning in my head right since you were talking about all this visibility and um getting people seen in order for them to um you know show up for their audiences now it's very essential for people to increase their visibility, especially for small to medium businesses, right? So what are some of the maybe proven approaches that you recommend for boosting this visibility without people losing their head and actually becoming bold? Right. Uh, well, there's, there's a number of ways to increase visibility. Uh, there's the six core self-promotion strategies that we call marketing. So it's networking, reaching out to new prospects, uh, giving and receiving referrals, speaking, writing, and the web. So uh, there's there's a multitude of ways that we can we can raise awareness of our business. Uh, with networking, we go, we choose a networking group or groups that are that where our target market are, and then we we build a, we we build awareness of what we do within that uh, those associations or networks. Uh, we reach out to people who may be able to help us with uh, with our business. Uh, we may do business with them or they may be able to refer business to us. It's about growing your network and that's organic growth and that's really important for, for any business. Giving and receiving referrals is also really vital. Uh, when you're when somebody refers you, then it gives an element of trust, and uh, and so the the prospect has has uh, has the uh, the tr uh, an elevated trust level uh, because their friend has already done work with you and said that you're great. So that that is really important when you give a referral you're seen as a leader in your field because you know people and you you can refer people uh, that that you know who can do the job so it can work uh, it can work both ways really really well look uh, of course I I like to do uh, speaking and uh, and I have uh, in fact I have a presentation uh, increase your visibility the six ways to promote <laughs> and uh, and so I like to go and speak at industry groups and associations and raise awareness uh, of of uh, of the 
business building system because small businesses and service professionals they can be great at what they do they're they're experts in their field but when it comes to the marketing and sales and actually uh, promoting themselves it can be a different matter and and that goes back to the personal selling it can be actually quite if you're not if you're not sort of one of those extroverts you can get you you can you have to put quite a lot of energy into the marketing and sales side and that's why having a framework is so important because uh, you when 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 you really don't feel like doing your marketing you can just fall back onto onto your your marketing list of things that you've got to do and having a framework like that really helps because uh, it, it, it you say oh look I've got to do it and so you just tick it off and uh, and it's done. Then, um, uh, so with speaking, uh, you can also do videos and you can do podcasts and wonderful videos, interviews like this. It's just fantastic. This is my favourite favorite activity. So thank you for having me on today, Prospera. Uh, you know, it's a wonderful way of... Uh, of, of uh, of being an expert in your field and interviewing other experts or being able to talk about what you do. So uh, uh, this uh, this is just fantastic. Uh, then there's writing and blogs. And uh, just recently I, I, uh, I published a book. And so uh, that's, that was very exciting. Uh, it's, a, it's a curated book of 19 interviews which I had transcribed and I did two chapters at the beginning, 19 interviews and a closing chapter and it's called Think Bigger, Grow and Succeed. So uh, that's uh, uh, that elevates uh, the business owner to another level because you can put author against your name and it's a credibility builder. Fantastic. Um, and then finally, we have the web, uh, which is all your domain, and I, I don't need to to go into that too much. But uh, but uh, you know the internet and uh, and re uh, having social media platforms and uh, uh, and using uh, advertising in ways on the internet can really boost your marketing efforts. Absolutely. Like I did mention, this is like a master class in, in marketing and personal selling. Now, while I have you on, you have um, what you've called the speakers of practice and you've been talking about processes and everything else. Can you just tell us a little bit more about the speakers practice and how it actually helps uh, business owners and professionals uh, with marketing skills and personal selling and also let us know how people can get started with you? Right. Well, the, the speaker's practice, uh, under this banner, uh, I offer a business develop, a business growth diagnostic, which I uh, interview the business owner and see, uh, I interview them right across the business development journey to see what's in place, if there's anything that's not in place, and what needs to be worked on. And uh, this uh, this is uh, probably the best way uh, if we're to work online to to work with me and uh, and we we get a, a full understanding of how uh, how uh, where the challenges are and where they're where they're squeaky clean and everything's working. Uh, then I do coaching, so uh, uh, we you know the. Uh, the Zoom space is just just marvelous for business coaching. We don't have to go out of our office or or uh, travel too far, and the computer actually is very private because you're only you only ever one person, one computer, isn't it? So uh, so you can share challenges and and more personal things that. Uh, that uh, may be affecting the business and and we are all people and uh, and uh, the coaching can be really 
really helpful because it can help people through the challenging times where they're questioning have they done the right thing or are they doing the right thing or where where there are issues and uh, and then we can celebrate the wins when they when they come along because there are lots of wins and yeah <laughs> absolutely <laughs> Yeah, so I do do training programs, but I haven't done as many training programs recently because of the uh, conditions. But I I do have uh, I do run a a day conference uh, regularly, and uh, and that is uh, that that is a place where I help uh, businesses shine. They get up on stage and they. Uh, they can uh, share their wisdom and uh, and it's an opportunity for people to learn uh, in a in a group format fantastic i absolutely love that because i believe we're here to live we're here to learn and we're here to contribute so if we want to live the best life that we can we need to learn everything um that we can in order for us to then be able to send the elevator down so to speak and teach others so they too could be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, I will be putting in all the links to uh, the things that you've mentioned in the show notes there and make sure that people either subscribe to, um, you know, the your, your coaching call or the speaking speaker's practice or maybe get started on the conferences that you've been running lately. Now, Adrian, somebody might be sitting here watching and thinking, ah, yeah, look at these guys, they, they know how to talk, they're having fun, you know, I can't do that, uh, and I don't think my business is to talk to people, I just, maybe I'm a masseuse, I'm a chiropractor, I just need to break some bones and twist some some legal things, and that's all i got to do. Now, what's the role do you find that uh, mindset uh, plays in either speaking or marketing and especially in business development and how can one actually cultivate a mindset that actually supports their own success yeah that's a great question <laughs> look I mean it does go back to personal selling and uh, and mindset is absolutely pivotal in this uh you know, sometimes I I, uh, I like to challenge my clients, and I say, well, well, maybe you'd like to put on an event and invite people to that event and uh, and talk about what you do, and then they go, oh no, I couldn't do that. Oh. Oh, no, you, you, that, that's not uh, that's not happening. I'm not I'm not having running an event. I have no idea how to do that. Uh, and so it's that it's that drawback that is uh, the 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 negative mindset. Uh, um, people wanting to do video, and they, they, I might suggest, well, you know, it would be really good for you to get up and and do a video. <gasps> no, I hate cameras. Oh no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. And uh, and so you so. Um, from a coaching perspective, we have to we have we have to give them some some nudges to actually go out and 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 do their marketing. They may they say you know we mentioned we talked about uh, networking groups and uh, attending a networking function. I'm a I love networking, so you know for me it's quite natural. But you know I I might suggest to people. Well, why don't you go and attend this networking association meeting? Because all your all the people attending are going to be your target market. Oh no, I'm not really good at networking. No, I don't. No, no. I, I've got. Oh, I'm so busy. I've got so much to do. I can't possibly do that. So we we go with this sort of uh, we're pushing them out of their comfort zone and. This gets into mindset and uh, and what think bigger and grow and succeed is about. You know, we as as business owners, we are uh, skilled in our expertise, whatever that is, as a service professional or even a, in other areas. But uh, we use service professionals. 
we're experts. We know exactly what we're doing. But when it comes to the business side, the marketing, the sales and, and running a business, then we get into a discomfort. And business owners, if you were going to be a business owner, it, there's an adage that says you've got to get comfortable with discomfort. And if you're not learning and you're not uncomfortable and you're not doing something that that is is developing your skill set then you're not growing and and you're not growing your business and uh, and so that's that's where mindset is it, it controls what goes on uh with the growth of a business absolutely i absolutely love that adrian now we've heard all of that you know, the mishap with the periodic table and now we've gotten through to where you are right now. And if people are really getting, uh, you know, interested in, in your story and everything else that comes along with it, what can people expect from either yourself or the speakers and practice in the future that they can be excited to actually, um, you know, jump on board for, especially the ones that are watching this show right now? Right. Well, I run a, a professional services mentoring session and really that is, uh, that's a group session and that really would be a great activity for people to, to sign up to. It's very affordable. It's on at one o'clock on Thursdays and uh, and really that, that would be the first port of call. Um the other part is uh, is private coaching, which uh, which really, if you're a business owner and you're wanting to get ahead, we all need business coaches, and uh, and that's uh, my rates are reasonable, and uh, and really give yourself six months to a year of business coaching, and you'll make progress. Uh, people have business coaches for a long time and it really uh, something that we haven't talked about that's really crucial is accountability and uh, coaching uh, is uh, is a way of building in accountability and when you're a business owner uh, you're the king pin <laughs> you know you're top of the tree and uh and you're not accountable to anyone apart from your your partner or, or whatever. Uh, so uh, so really, uh, having a business coach builds in an element of accountability, and uh, and they can keep you on track and keep you growing. And that's really, uh, uh, I think that's really important fantastic this i think was one of the most valuable shows we've ever had to record and i really appreciate you adrian um you know for sharing your expertise and inspiring us with your journey from fear to passion yeah. oh thank you thank you so much for having me it's fantastic to be here today Absolutely. And there you have it. For those that are watching right now, you notice we have learned valuable insights into marketing. And if you just skipped up until the end, please go back and watch this video. It is packed with amazing uh, information about personal selling and developing the skills that you need to thrive in business. And if you want to uh, get in touch with Adrian and learn more about the speakers and practice, visit their website. I'll be putting all those details in the show notes below. And I really want you to take the first step toward transforming your business so you can create for and relate to the audience that you're going to be actually demanding money off of later on. So join us next time on the Online Prosperity Show where we're going to be bringing success stories and strategies to help you prosper in the digital age. Bye for now.